Hi, sugar cakes. I hope you are all doing well today. Today, I want to talk to you about Monster Ops from Y Press Games. Now, Monster Ops is a game that has an episodic release exclusively on Patreon for now. Episodes are released every month to Patreon subscribers. People who are not subscribed on Patreon will be able to play the episodes six months after they are released on Patreon. Right now, you can play the first episode for free from itch.io. Now, Monster Ops is a kind of spinoff or expansion of the Monster Lover series. If you play either of the, if you've played Monster Lover 1 or even the Monster Lover 2 demo, you will see familiar characters along the way. Monster Ops follows a young lieutenant named Tide as he's drafted into this section of the military that deals with monsters. So what's happened is there's a top secret experiment to where some soldiers have been transformed into monsters and they've escaped and are kind of wreaking havoc to the public. So it's up to this task force to go and stop them. Now Tide is drafted because during one of his military expeditions he actually runs into one of these monsters. No one else saw the monster so they all kind of thought he was crazy. So he ended up being drafted because they're like, okay, well, you've seen what's going on. You're a part of this now. We can't let you go. He's joined by a soldier named Wraith and Belask, who you may know from Monster Lover 1. Belask is here due to an, I guess, an alternate ending, an alternate version of one of the endings from Monster Lover 1. So it does kind of fit into the continuity. As of right now, the first three episodes are out. Like I say, you can play the first episode for free. I've played all three episodes released up to this point. So these are my impressions. The story does grab you, especially with the relationship between the characters, especially Wraith and Tide. There's also some weird stuff going on in this military base and you really don't know who to trust. And the more things unravel, honestly, the more questions you have. Like, what is this experiment? Why did you have the experiment in the first place? And what is going on? You see, you learn in the first episode that Tide and Wraith are injected with a serum that is meant to help them fend off against the monsters. But what actually seems to be happening is that it's a very strong pheromone that makes both them and the monsters incredibly aroused. And it can only be satiated through physical interactions, as you may know. So while the story is unraveling, you're kind of figuring out, figuring out why was this the, why did y'all make this the serum? Who's in charge of this? Who's above the lieutenant calling the shots? What's going on with this? What's going on with this crazy doctor lady? It's all very interesting. I'm not going to spoil any of it here and it's only three episodes in, but I will say that the story is really addicting and the animated CGs really add to it. Of course, I can't show you them here for obvious reasons. Now, as far as the gameplay, one thing I really did like about each chapter is that each chapter seemed to have a game over route. Like you could make the wrong decision and it would end in the game over. Like, boom, you're dead. Another thing is that each chapter seems to switch between perspectives. Like, for example, episode one, you're going through Tide's perspective. Episode two, you're going through Wraith's perspective. Episode three, back to Ty, and I'm assuming episode four, we're going back to Wraith. Now, to get access to these episodes as they come out, you have to be a Patreon backer for only $5 a month. And each month, you will get another episode to the series. If you don't want to subscribe to the Patreon, episode two will be coming out on Steam and Itch in January. This is an experimental business model from White Press Games. Because we've all seen those kind of episodic games, Life is Strange comes to mind. So they're just experimenting with a new release strategy. With all that being said, I am very excited to see where this game goes because I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on all the characters and I cannot wait until Ambrosillis joins the team. Because they told me he's coming. I need him now. Why Press Games is trying to reach 50 patrons a month to help fund the development of Monster Ops. So if you really want to see the game continue, please consider subbing to the Patreon. Okay, so a lot of you have been constantly asking, when is Hunky City going to be released on Steam? So Steam has a very, from what I've understood from many developers, 
intense review system. And the developers of Hunky City want to make sure that their game is in tip top shape before they submit it for Steam to review. I'm sure if you play a lot of games, you've seen some games be released on um, the Epic Game Store GOG before they reach Steam. I've been shown screenshots from multiple different developers of Steam's review process and how they'll hold up games because of any little meticulous reason. So that's why it's taking so long for Hunky City to be released on Steam because they want to make sure that the game is in the best condition it can be for a review. If you were like me, you were saddened by the news that Mr. Ryu and Barasia were not going to be going forward with Abyss Fables. Well, I'm here today to let you know there might be a little bit of hope. So Barasia just released a Steam page called Bar Lab. And it says, Bar Labs is a short collection of experimental prototype games made by our team. We will decide whether or not to make a full length game out of the shorts based on how the prototypes are received by the players. And the first game they have released under this listing as a prototype is Chapter One, Little Red Riding Hood. So what I'm gathering is once they have a good few more prototypes out, like the ones we discussed in my previous video, they will all be here under Bar Labs, and they're also going to be considering the reception they get from this Steam listing to see which games they're going forward with. So, if you really want to see Abyss Fables become a game, and we're saddened by the news that they weren't necessarily moving forward with it at this time, Bar Labs is your second chance to let it be known that you really want to see this story continue. Hi guys, thanks for making it through to the end. Be sure to like and leave a comment and even subscribe if you aren't already. And be sure to share the video with your friends too. Until next time.